Hey everybody, it's Seth Jones, Editor-in-Chief of Landscape Management Magazine. I'm out here in Cary, North Carolina at the John Deere facility based in uh, the North Carolina office. And I'm being joined by Ken Taylor. He is the sales manager for the, com help me out, the commercial corporate business corporate division. Business division. And Ken, first of all, I want to say thank you to you and to John Deere for continuing to support our coverage of the LM150. Uh, it's, it's always an anticipated issue for us, and so it's cool to be out here and, and see you guys. Well, I appreciate that. It's also an anticipated issue for John Deere as well, and myself personally, as I know well of your readers as well. Great, great. Now, let me tell you something we did this year for the first time for the LM150. We asked all of the people who were applying to tell us if they actually have, any, if they operate any John Deere green. And we were, I don't know, you might not be surprised or maybe you are surprised, but I want to tell you that the, what we've seen so far is about 80% of the respondents do operate some type of John Deere equipment. Does that surprise you? And, and what's, your, what's your take on that? Well, I'm certainly going to say it doesn't surprise me, but I'm truly delighted to hear that 80% of the top 150 are, have John Deere equipment in their fleet. It, it, may, it means what we're doing to meet the customer requirements is working. Fantastic. So, Ken, let me ask you this. Something that I notice about uh, John Deere, and, and it seems like it goes down to, you know, obviously it's a big company, but you guys really get it down to the local level. How do you suggest that local guy finds the right support for him based on operating that equipment? How do you go about finding the right people, finding the right place, and making sure you got in your local area the right type of support for your business? Well, I'm going to suggest there's a couple of things there. Number one, from a John Deere perspective, we've been around for over 180 years, and how our brand was founded, and, and truly one of our found, founding uh, pillars, is having close ties to those linked to the land. Mm -hmm. So the landscape contractor segment just makes sense for us. Number two, with that, with, with our dealer network, and also with the cu customer themselves, is that downtime's not an option when they're running a business. Mm -hmm. So they want to make sure they find a dealer who understands that, I'm going to suggest they look at it a couple of ways. Number one is uh, do a Google search. Everybody's on the internet today, mm -hmm. and, and they're looking. Go, go look at those dealers in your trade areas website and see who they're talking to. Are they talking to the professional, or are they talking to some other customer? If they're talking to you, that's a pretty good indicator. The other thing to do is actually go in and interview them. I mean, you they have to earn your business. Because you're in the just like the 80% are using John Deere equipment. We want to earn their business every day. And how you do that is providing a level of support beyond the equipment. So ask them questions that they provide loaners. Tell, ask them about their mechanics. Ask them about parts turnaround and parts availability. Do they provide parts on site? So questions that are really important to you and your business, ask them the questions. If you don't like the answers, go to another dealer. Fantastic. Well, Ken, thank you again. We're looking forward to the magazine coming out. It'll be out in just a few weeks, so keep checking online. And once again, this is Ken Taylor. He is the uh, sales manager for the corporate business division out here at John Deere. Ken, thank you, and thank you for showing me around today and for your time. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay, and thank you for checking in with us here at Landscape Management TV.